when we talk about health in the NFL, we do have to touch on one more topic, which is um, the CTE studies. And, mm -hmm. uh, and a recent one came out where 110 out of 111 players uh, uh, wound up having some sort of damage to their to their brain. Um, now it was self-selected because they, those families sent those uh, bodies in after they'd passed away, and so uh, so it's not necessarily representative of all the NFL. But does that does that significantly worry you having played football for so long? Uh, no, I tend not to. Um I tend not to worry about things too much, man. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And if it's not, it's not. So worrying kind of just wastes time, right? So all I can do now is is enjoy the freedoms that the craft of football gave me and my family and um, educate myself as much as I can on on all the interesting topics that I would, I would love to delve into. And also make sure my kids don't play football. Um, that's all I can do right now. Uh, okay. So it, it doesn't bother me. But what does bother me uh, is that like we still let uh, little kids have contact, uh, head, head to head contact, like in Little League or um, anything up to at least high school, I think is, uh, it's it's pointless, you know, in my opinion. Um, it's the, the, the science is gonna, is gonna continue to get more and more uh, clear on the subject. But I think that um, I wouldn't be surprised if in 50 to 100 years, there is no more NFL. Wow. Uh, so, quick follow up on that. Then, so are you saying you won't let your kids play when they're younger? And and by the way, their heads are larger when they're younger, and it's actually could be even more damaging. So, yeah. I understand that concept. Or are you saying that you don't want your kids playing football at all because it's too dangerous? I I'm not gonna let them play up until high school, and I don't want them to play at all. Like, there's no point. Um, if I do end up having some kind of uh, CTE. Um, like that's the sacrifice that I made for my family. I mean, un unbeknownst to me, because the science wasn't clear when I first started out on that journey when I was seven years old, um, and so I thought I was just following a childhood dream with you know a little little less risk than there is now. But there's just no reason for him to go play football. Like uh, if you if you want to follow in your dad's footsteps, um, follow in the latter half of my life than the than the former because it's just not it's not worth it. Um, the odds of you being as good as me are low. <laughs> <laughs> um, not not saying that in arrogance, just statistically, if you look at professional athletes and their kids, they're usually not as good. Um, it's just it's just a part of it. Um, when I was doing it, I was doing it with the motivation to uh, get my family out of the circumstances that we were in, and it was to um, uh, uh, provide for my children in the future, and that's exactly what I did. So uh, it's it's hard when he is going to private school, and it's hard for him to muster up that energy to go run hills when you're 15 years old.